Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do mask making in production. So first you need this template, which I'll link in the comments below. Just print it out. You can print it on typing paper or cardstock. This is cardstock. Just make sure that when you do it, that this box here measures two inches to make sure your computer didn't shrink it down. So you need two fabrics about 11 inches wide, 11 inches tall yardage of each by width of fabric, which is 42 to 44. And what you wanna do is fold your fabric right sides together um, you want to keep your fold over here, probably. Don't pay attention to what I did there. And do the same thing for your lining fabric. So this is the front, right sides together. The lining fabric, you also want to have right sides together. So I'm going to arrange this. Okay, so I've got that. And then you're going to lay another 11 inches of whatever your outside fabric is, your second fabric. And you're just going to take this and draw trace around you can do it with a sharpie um, or a regular pencil or whatever but trace around six places so you don't have to flip flop it but it fits better so you can fit six on anything that is a width of fabric by 11 inches um, and this template is does include the seam allowances of a quarter inch seam allowance so you can just cut right along there so that's what you do you cut right along there and what you have in the end is shapes like this, and you'll have four pieces of fabric here, right? You'll have the top two pieces that are the pattern, and then the bottom two pieces, which are the back, however you decided to do that. Um, and they will just all be together, which is makes it really easy, okay? So then the next step is to take those pieces and sew them. So you sew the curve on each piece individually. So we've got this one there, and then this one I already turned right side out, but, and this one there. Okay, so once you sew both of those together, then you're going to lay them apart. I don't clip or iron or anything at this point. And you are gonna unfold them and put them right sides together, okay? And the really the only thing you have to line up is this first end here. Is that right sides? Yes, right sides together. So you just wanna line up that first side and we're gonna sew starting right here. And we're gonna leave a space on the bottom that's like from here. So we're gonna sew here all the way down and over. I'm gonna do that real quick. And you can just kind of adjust as you go. Um, again, a quarter inch seam allowance. You don't have to back stitch at all. You can just carry on. And when you get to the curved part, do you see this? When you get to the curved part up here, um, it's a good idea to just kind of adjust as you're sewing and make sure that the edges are still lining up. They don't have to be really exact, but it's better. And then you just wanna press one seam, like the top seam I like to press forward, the back seam I press back, and I go slow as I'm kind of rounding this point at the top and make sure there's no fabric bunched up underneath it. And you just stop every time you get within a quarter inch of the edge to turn. Check your seams every now and then. About this time when I turn to do the bottom rounding, I line up my two middle seams. And then I'm just gonna stop at some point here so that you've got a space to turn it right side out. So, so you've got all this, you don't need to backstitch, you don't need to trim your strings at this point, and you're just gonna flip it inside out real quick and use a po pokey tool of some kind to poke these corners out. You don't have to get real meticulous about the corners because we're gonna fold them out over, so you won't be able to tell, but it does lay a little bit flatter if you can poke the corners out. So what I like to do is do about 18 of these. You can get 18 masks out of one yard of fabric, so you actually need two yards, one for the front and one for the back. You can get 18 out of it, and then I'll do them in 18 and then I go watch a show and turn them inside out while I'm doing it. So at this point you can kind of finger press it and I just make sure the seams are all turned out like so. And that this side that where the hole was, you just kind of fold that under and finger press it. Okay. And if you want to press like iron in at this point, that would be fine. It would probably be neater. I'm not going to do it because of for sake of time, but all right, the next thing is that you need elastic. So this elastic is about 11 inches. So that's definitely plenty big enough. You could go all the way down to nine, but I cut a whole bunch at one time by wrapping them around a book <laughs> um, and then spooling it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay that there. We're gonna turn over this end 
just a half inch and you can kind of eyeball it. Make sure that the elastic is out of the way and then we're gonna sew it. And all right, so it's ready to go into the sewing machine as you can see here. So I just folded it over a half inch. The elastic is over there, free form. I'm gonna put it in and this is where we're gonna start. So I do a really scant edge here, like eighth of an inch maybe, um, and just kind of eyeball it. At this point you do backstitch. Make sure that you're keeping that elastic away. I backstitch one more time at every corner just because. And then we're gonna turn it. Make sure that your um, folds are tucked in properly. Turn it and then you're gonna sew just an eighth of an inch all the way around as a top stitch to keep it neat and tidy so that when people wash it, it won't get out of shape. And as you're approaching the end, give it about an inch of space, get another piece of elastic, and you're gonna lay that in there and flip it over. Okay, that was just perfect. Again, about a half inch, doesn't have to be perfect. And so right down that sleeve again, around the outside edge of that sleeve, sleeve, seam. And across the top. Like being careful that the top is all the way pulled out as you're going around. And we're just gonna back stitch a couple times. And the great thing about this is that, like one of the reasons that this saves so much time is that the edges then, there's only one place to cut strings, ideally at the top right there. So, okay, so now this is all sewn all the way around. You can kind of see how that sleeve looks there. So you're gonna take the ends of your elastic and just tie it in an overhand knot. However you do that, this reminds me of tying water balloons. And just pull that knot kind of tight. And then you're gonna pull on it one side of the elastic so that the knot pops there through. And that keeps it so that it's flexible. So if um, somebody who's smaller wants to have it tighter or somebody who's larger can, can untie it and tie it a little bit closer. So there you have it, that's a mask. Usually at this point, I just sit on the couch and do the elastic and the string cutting at the same time. So you might wanna try that too. It's a great Netflix activity.